Welcome back survivors to 7 Days to Die on my PS4. So this is not a let's play today guys, this is actually some exciting news. Now normally I don't release a video on Sunday, I take Sunday off. Uh, Monday is actually going to be my day off since it's a long weekend. But you guys have been asking for traders, you have finally got them. We finally got um, console update 11 announced and there's a lot of exciting stuff. There's some new POIs, there's traders, there's vending machines, uh, there's a whole bunch of stuff. So let's start going over that crap. now. I don't want to actually, uh, a lot of you say, why don't you preview this stuff and show us? Because it's not on console, guys. If I if it's not on console, I can't show it to you, right? Now, I could go hop over to PC and be like, this is what this is, this is what this is. But from, from past experience, the console version isn't always exactly the same as the PC version. So hold on to your tits, guys. We'll get this together. Anyways, starting off, the first uh, change we've done here is Naviscane map and uh, locations. The Naviscane has been upgraded, so it's almost two kilometers bigger. It has new POIs, has a different landscape, and it has a giant desert canyon in it. So, I mean, if you're into Naviscane, that's cool because Naviscane will be a new map. Uh, there's a new random world gen location. So these are the POIs you guys have not been able to find in the game uh, because they didn't exist in the game. So we got some locations like the hidden bomb shelters. Um, now there's two of them on PC. I don't know if there's only one being added in or both. Uh, there's an oil refinery. That's actually really cool to find some gas in. There's shit loads of gas in that thing. Funeral home. Those are all right. Honestly, I find it kind of just a filler POI. Uh, the prison, same thing as well, too. The prison looks cool, and it's a good, uh, good POI to take over, but at the same time, it's another one of those POIs that are just kind of like, meh. Uh, what else we got here? We got the Red Mesa Government Installation. Now, that one, that's a POI that's worth mentioning, guys. That one's fucking sick to go and check out. Why the fuck can I not get up this ladder? I'm having a difficult moment here. here. Fuck that ladder. Fuck it. Let's fuck it. Anyways, moving on. Uh, they're also adding Buzz's Bar, and I would assume they are adding in the underground, like the, the actual missile solo, which I believe is the Red Mesa government installation. I think that's what they officially call it. It's not in the files as that. It's under uh, missile solo, but it's named Red Mesa. Anyways, moving on. So this is one you guys have been asking and asking and asking for, and it's one I personally have been dreading because honestly, I, I don't. I'm not a big fan of traders. I find them a big pain in the ass. But you guys like them, so that's what's more important at the moment. Uh, traders, traders have moved in a zombie country and set up shop. And so what they do is they basically carry a lot of uh, variety of products. Um, now they will um, have stainless steel. But the one thing I hate about stainless steel, you guys are like, oh, that's good. So I can take the steel and upgrade it to stainless steel. Well, in the PC balance, what happens, they made zombies do more damage to blocks. So it was necessary to upgrade the steel. And the other thing is, too, is once you do upgrade this all the way to steel, it doesn't break, or stainless steel, it doesn't break back down into steel. It breaks back down into concrete, and it's incredibly expensive. Uh, to fill up a room this size, you might have to use seven, eight days worth of going uh, back and forth to the trader. I'm just letting you guys know that a little bit ahead of time. It's not as good as it looks, but maybe it'll be balanced different on console. I don't even know. So we're getting the traders. Um, they, this is something interesting I find in the patch notes. Now, I, I might be being stupid, but I can't find the answer to it. Uh, there are five different traders in the new Naviscane map, and there will be at least one trader in every world random world gen. Oh, one trader in random world gen. Five traders in the Naviscane map and one in the rent. Okay, whatever. Uh, traders of... Um, okay, here we go. This, this is where it is. Uh, traders also provide rent... Rentable vending machines where players can sell their own goods to other players and even other unseen NPC survivors. And then it says in brackets, see below for details. I couldn't find the details on this. I don't know what this is about because this does not exist on PC. There's no magical purchases in your vending machines. But if that's a thing on fucking console where you can put stuff in a vending machine and have like imaginary... I'm sorry, I'm not moving around here, guys. I'm just getting so excited reading these notes, too. Anyways, as I was trying to say before I stumbled like crazy there, is it'd be really, really cool if you can actually set up a bunch of vending machines and have, like, just stuff randomly get purchased out of it. Although there's no actual other survivors in the world, that would actually be a really sick mechanic. Because even on multiplayer, guys, we never see people make those vending machines. They're, they're useless. People just come along and destroy them, right? Like, what's the fucking point of that? They destroy them, you lose all your stuff in them, so no one ever uses them. But on a single-player playthrough, if it randomly sells stuff for you... That is fucking boss. That is epic to like no or 
that is just insane, guys. I have no other words for that. So that that's blowing my mind right now. So I do hope we actually end up seeing that. And holy fuck, do we ever have a strong axe here? <laughs> All right. Anyways, moving on. So we're gonna move on to the vending machines here. They are a new block in patch 11, and they'll come in three flavors, beverage, vending machine, and rentable trader protective vending machines. These are the good ones. What you do is you spend a, a few coins and you can rent it for a month at the trader. So those ones can't get destroyed. And those ones are the ones that I personally find end up uh, getting used on the, um, on the servers. So... Anyways, moving on from that, I'm pretty sure you guys know about the vending machines. Like, there'll be vending machines in stores that you can buy beer or water or stuff from with your, your coins. Uh, now, you won't be able to break your coins down in a new update as well either, just to mention that. They won't be usable for brass anymore. So, this is the last time you'll be able to use those coins for brass. Mining and ore updates. This is the one I was dreading about, guys. Remember how in earlier episodes, I kept going on about um, the mining and I couldn't figure out if they had put the new mining system in, if it was a pain in the ass, what was going on. Shit, I didn't bring any of my tools. Um, so we finally got the new mining system. What that means is you know how you dig down now and you find all your minerals in one spot? Like you'll, you'll go like in any biome basically, right? You just dig down and you have all your minerals. Now, okay, each and every single type of biome only has one dominant mineral in it. Which means winter might, or uh, the winter biome, I can't remember them exactly because they've changed them so friggin' much. Um, the winter biome might be nitrate, and this might be uh, predominantly iron. And then you go into the desert, and obviously it's predominantly um, oil shell. And then you can go into the other forest biome, and that one will be coal, or the, the burn, or the, I'm sorry, the wasteland biome here will be coal. You know, that type of thing. Actually, you know what? Thinking about it. I don't think I've ever come across one of those uh, burning biomes on this map. Oh, wow. Okay, something to think about. Cool. But anyways, so the ores are going to be spread out. And on top of that, guys, you'll start getting diamonds and silver and gold as well, too. They're going to be adding those into the game, and you can find those underground. Uh, the only purpose they have in the game right now is they sell to traders very well. All right, and last but not least, though, guys, we got ourselves the bug fixes and improvements. And this is what I um, really like because content's cool, guys, but I want my game to run right. I way prefer a, a bug fix update over a content one. So let's check out and see what these suckers have for the bug fixes. Fixing uh, an issue that would cause ammo to disappear if it were assembled by a player with no free slot in their inventory. I've actually had that happen before. Thanks for fixing that, guys. I never... You know, it, it happened, I was just kind of like, meh, and I never really thought about it. Fixed an issue that would cause the hole to appear broken in the UI after it had been fixed. Never come across that one either. Fixed an issue that caused a flashlight to turn on off when the player would perform another action. Oh, I remember bitching about that in an earlier episode too. I'm like, what the hell? Why does the flashlight turn off every time I switch my hand? That's annoying. Uh... It fixed an issue that made it possible for another player to have more than one infection at the same time. That's fucking hilarious. It fixed an issue that would occasionally cause in-game time to freeze when starting up an online multiplayer game after resuming from a suspended state. So that a uh, couple episodes, guys, we went over that bug. I got that bug. We went over it. So they've actually fixed that. That's fucking cool. It fixed an issue that would occasionally cause in-game time to pass while the player was in rest mode. Oh boy, that would that would suck. A little back on your map, it's on day 186. Okay, and fixed an issue that allowed there to be a small chance for the player to small uh, spawn into the wasteland on a randomly generated map. So you guys remember how the dogs are OP on this playthrough and you spawn in in the wasteland? Those were all for 15 bugs when the game first came out. I was actually really surprised that they bothered porting over the bugs when they had actually already fixed them. Um, that one actually kind of got me. Minecraft used to be really fucking bad for that. It would port over a previous build and port over all the bugs instead of going okay well we have a complete build let's just port over the complete build fixed no they'll, they'll port over the bugs then port over a patch fix and then port over the bugs again then port over a patch fix but let's hope that doesn't continue in the future uh fix an issue that allows zombies to set the player and each other on fire underwater <laughs> what i wish i could replicate that one actually Fixed an issue that allowed items to drop on the ground after the lootable gore block was destroyed to be picked up from a long distance. <laughs> yep, we noticed that as well too in the playthrough. Got a lot of comments on that. Fixed an issue that caused players to seem as though they had 
clothes on when they didn't. They actually spelled clothes. That's why I actually paused there for a second. They spelled clothes wrong in the patch notes. That's funny. They use clothes as in the action of clothes, not wearing clothes. Uh, fixed an issue that would occasionally cause bedrolls to be destroyed after placement on an iron desk. <laughs> Did not know that one either. Um, so I don't see anything about dogs in here, guys. Uh, I don't think whoever is working on the, the, the console dev realizes that they ported over the broken ass dogs from Alpha 15 that they fixed. They fixed those dogs in Alpha 15. The exact same shit happened when Alpha 15 launched. The dogs were OP. We actually had to turn them off on the server because people would log in and get ganked by dogs constantly. Um, because the dogs were extremely OP. So I don't know. I'm, I'm really hoping they, they nerf those dogs a little bit. And for those like, bitching telling me that those are how the dogs are supposed to be, 100% they are not. They fixed it on Alpha 15. I have video proof of it. Art and Audio fixed an issue that allowed the wooden, caused the wooden spike to be missing several war rotations. I didn't even notice that, to be honest. Fixed an issue that caused artificial lights to dim for the client as the host moved further away from them in a local multiplayer save. Don't even know what that means, but uh, fixed an issue that would cause the game to crash when a client in an online multiplayer game would log in after quitting the previous se se session as they were dying. Guys, never quit the game when you're dying. Never quit in the death screen. You're going to get fucked over. Fixed an issue that caused an unresponsive state in local multiplayer game if both controllers were disconnected when the game was suspended. Fixed an issue that caused the game to crash after the player would drop three or more candles. <laughs> You know what, guys? We're going to try that out. Fix an issue that would cause the game to crash when a, uh, when a player would try to equip and assemble or scrap an item simultaneously. That is fucking hilarious. So, guys, we got a huge update. I'm pretty excited about that. Um, are you guys excited? What's your favorite feature coming out? Uh, for me, I think it's going to be the POIs, guys. I'm actually kind of dreading the traders. And personally, I'm dreading the mining system as well, too. I never like either of those changes. But they're core parts of the game, right? You got to adapt. And you got to live with them. But right now, we are going to make ourselves a few candles. Okay, so looking back at the notes here, guys, I figured out what the hell was going on with those NPC traders I was talking about. It's right here. It says, rentable vending machines can be rented for a fee, 2,500 Duke tokens. I don't know how I missed this paragraph. The rent lasts 30 days. During this time, the player can add items from his or her inventory to the vending machine. Prices can be increased above standard price or reduced, so you can set the prices you want for yourself. Other players in the game can purchase items from rented vending machine. And sometimes, sometimes items will be bought by NPCs. So basically, fake purchases, right? Like, there is the game's just going to choose, okay, I'm going to buy this item. Um... The only downfall of that is, guys, is if you still have items in that vending machine after 30 days, they'll disappear if you haven't come and got them. But you know what? Let's go ahead and drop four candles. Okay. I'm fine. <laughs> I don't know how to replicate that bug, but that's funny as hell. I was half expecting the game to come to a, to come to a halt. That's actually kind of disappointing. But hey, I have four candles now. We should actually start using these. I really like candlelight. Let's put that up on the wall. Nice. Perfect. Anyways, guys, I gotta go. I hope you enjoy the update. I hope you're as pumped as I am about it. And I'm sorry I went on a little bit longer on this one, but well, I'm excited. New updates are always fun. Have a good one, guys. Always back up those game saves, and I'll see you in the next episode, Discord, or wherever the hell we meet up next. Peace out. Stay classy.